Hi everybody, uh, quite a few have asked how did I go about doing the um, chroma key work for the model railway video. So here you see the basic setup, but I ended up putting both these box lights right up by the ceiling so that they pointed down at quite a wide angle. I also swapped out this box light, which I was using as a rim light, for a barn door LED, which I placed just about here, pointing down at that angle using the barn doors to make sure it didn't flood onto the orange screen. Orange screen because of the colours on the model trains. Um, only problem was then when you had red model trains. So how did I do it? First of all I had my backdrop which is this. And uh, I went over here and clicked that I wanted to distort the clip and then moved it up to get rid of most of the sky like you see there. And then as you see I had quite a number of model train video files which go here. They're actually in the overlay and then you extend that. What I'll do is just cut this for now to make it quick. So I filmed the model trains as you can see. We click T um, fit the screen and there they are. The red signal arm there, oops. Red signal arm was problematic, but I was using the rim light to illuminate that and also. So what I had to do first of all, over to mask and chroma key and click that I wanted to apply it, sample it as near to the subject as possible. My similarity best setting I found was 25. I then moved the threshold down to get rid of, you see the bar there, to get rid of that. And to a point just where the sky started deteriorating. And then I moved the cutoff back to clear that. I found it was necessary to move the gamma back there to about minus 65. So we, we are now okay, but you will notice that the signal arm is still not visible. So what I needed to do next was pop in the chroma key effect and customize the filter. It comes up ready to do green screen. So you need to click remove keyframes and then click the sample again, again, close as you can get. And you can see it's now had an effect. I found that the colour range needed to be set at 30. I was then able to reduce the sensitivity to clear most of the interference. Is that the right word? You see it's there. Reduce that down. But keep an eye on the mask. This is no good because it will cause flicker. So just put it back up on sensitivity until it's a clean mask. This will be removed. I'll show you how to remove that in a minute. But what I now use is Erase Spill, and you need quite high levels of it. And you see now the signal arm is coming back in. But we're around 95, and there's still a bit of interference. Okay, so that's as much as that one can do for you. Now, remember we had the interference. Let's see if we can find it. It was still showing. You can see it's difficult on the preview screen, but it is there. Go back to your mask and chroma key and reduce further the threshold. That will get rid of the interference. Okay, so let's now have a look at the project. You can see more in large preview, but. So let's show you what I did. Let's take that away. First of all, I proceeded to fill all the clips in the way that you've just seen. So that's, that's actually the, the project itself. And then I added all the sounds. There was three soundtracks. <laughs> that was fun. And then, after I'd got this as good as I possibly could, I output the entire file 
in best possible quality. Well, I used exactly the same as the camera's settings. There you go. And output it. However, that wasn't the end of it. Once I had the file, I then brought it back. It's back now. And then I applied some effects to it, which was Detail Enhancer. Now I used just the subtle effect, 15.5. That was enough to sharpen everything and, and make it look a lot better. It was a considerable improvement. I also did a colour correction, minus 9 on hue which brought back the greens and the yellows correctly. As I say, then I added the introduction and some photographs and then output the whole thing as another file which I then uploaded to YouTube. Now including filming, which uh, did take some time because it was quite complicated, and editing, it's probably taken me about six weeks. Anyway, I hope that's been of help to somebody if they want to try chroma key with their system. You don't have to stick to green or blue, as you've seen. Just something that is not similar to the images that you're going to use. Cheers then.